Hey everybody, we're here with more, Do more Dota. How exciting, this is more post-commentary, because I didn't really record live. Um, uh, I guess I'll just talk about picking right now. My team just picked up a lot of heroes really fast. Um, I'm on the dire. Um, so we got Skeleton King Axe, I pick Windrunner, and my friend picks... This is actually my friend's playing Nature's Prophet. He's, he's been liking Nature's Prophet recently. So we were actually... The reason I picked Windrunner was he was planning... Um, my friend was planning to jungle. But, um... And I was going to solo bottom lane. Because that's the hardest lane. And Windrunner is probably one of the best people to solo it. Because she has ability called Windrun, which is amazing. But, um... The Earthshaker... This guy picks Earthshaker. Uh, so... Eventually what ends up is we have Nature's Prophet go middle. Because we don't really have a good mid. It's basically either me or Nature's Prophet. And... Um, we just decide he should go middle, so it's like either way we're kind of fucked a little. So I mean, we just kind of just have to just deal with that. So they pick um, Life Stealer and Clinks after that, uh, which is kind of I don't want to do directed. Nobody likes directed, but um, just in the beginning we're just gonna like I don't know whatever. Um, one thing I figured out I don't know, I don't know if you guys have been noticing this, but um. In my videos, my mic volume has, like, my vi mic has been max maxing out a lot. That's because every time I, like, join a Dota game, it, um, it resets my mic volume to, like, 100%, whereas I have it, like, at 40%. So I went out and reset it. Hopefully it's fixed this time. Um, so I'm going to try and remember to do that in the future. It's rather annoying. Just, like, ugh. Whatever. Kind of annoying. So I'm, I'm going top lane. Um... We kind of have a couple noobs on our team. Really, the Skeleton King and the Earthshaker are kind of newbie, I feel. Other team already has some noobs, too. There's a lot of noobs in this game. I think that's partially because, well, I haven't played a lot of games. I've, I don't think I've played enough games for the really matchmaking system to be able to match me with people of my skill level. It's very variable. Sometimes they'll play against really hard people. Other times they'll play against really... Like, easy games. Um, so I basically just told our Earthshaker to go bottom. Because I'm like, you shouldn't be top with me. Because you should be supporting Skeleton King. Because Skeleton King is a carry. He's basically totally defend dependent on farm. Um, I'm winning with Axe. And Axe and Windrunner are dependent on farm. But not nearly as much as Sand King. I mean, Skeleton King. So it's like, we need Skeleton King to be with somebody who doesn't really need a lot of like money. To be effective. So that's why he went bottom. Also, they have they have two stuns, so it's pretty. It it should be a pretty easy lane for them. They actually don't end up doing very well, but they don't do horrible either. You know, it's not really that big a deal. And so this guy's like, "Where are you guys from?" And I'm like, "Minnesota," because Minnesota is the best state. Not really. God, the winter here is so stupid. We've had it's like there's like more snow now in March than there has been in like the entirety of the rest of the winter. Okay, so I guess you can see we're fighting a Zeus and a life stealer, not necessarily the best. Their life stealer is kind of newbie. He like just walks in there, and it's like you think I'm not going to shoot you. Um, so I guess just what I picked up was because I'm not laning by myself. I didn't really pick up any HP items because um, Axe should hopefully be t like kind of tanking a little bit for me. If I was by myself and like bottom lane like I was initially planning, I would have picked up like a gauntlet or something to get at least a little more health. But um, in I'm just gonna use that my mantles of intelligence I got instead. Give me a lot of like last hitting power, so it's very easy for me to get last hits like I just did. And it also gives me really good like really good harass against these guys because I do a lot of initial damage. It also gives me a pretty big mana pool so I can spam my abilities more often. Which I actually make fairly good use of. Uh, you can see I'm channeling a power shot right there. Right now we're just harassing this life stealer. So I ate a tower shot there, and you just saw how much damage that did to me because I have no freaking health. Uh, that's funny. I have like no health. Okay. So let's look at these lanes. Let's look at this stuff. Okay. So Axe and I have pretty good gold. My friend in the middle actually is really really good gold and so is their clinks and their lion how strange their lich w and their lich had just he like just connected he hadn't connected oh my god he started with boots he ran in lich and he started with boots you probably never want to start with boots really so we, their lion is probably he just he doesn't have any hex he's probably you've been spamming earth spike to try and get last hits um because he's been managing and doing that um oh i remember what happened here 
Um, Axe has his Battle Hunger ability. You can read it right here, but it basically does damage over time if they don't kill a creep. Now he cast it on the Life Stealer, but the Life Stealer wouldn't have died from that. But then I used a Power Shot, which did kill him. And Power Shot's basically just a channeled um, ability. That like, okay, Skeleton King, why are you running after him, you noob? Uh, that was really dumb. So they got a double kill on bottom. Like I said, our bottom lane wasn't very good. It was not very good. But that is okay. So, yeah. I don't know. Kind of just laning. Right now, my lane's pretty boring because their people aren't good at all. He just cast his open wounds ability on me for really no reason. He didn't really take advantage of it because it slows you. And when enemies attack you, they get life steal. And so he's just like standing there, and I'm just like shooting him. Because why the hell not? I'm hitting for 61 damage already. So it's really easy for me to shoot him and just deal a ton of damage. In the meantime, I'm trying to get all the last hits possible. Um, let's see. Axe has a lot of them, actually. Let's look at the gold. We have a very, very slight advantage in gold. Um, right now, Skeleton King is just chilling back. Um, I don't think this guy... Oh, he didn't have enough money. Mm, he probably should have skipped the boots and instead gotten a teleport scroll. Because now he's going to be really underleveled. Like, even Lich is a higher level. And Lich joined the game. <laughs> he joined the game late and he's a higher level. Oh my god. Lich is higher level than Skeleton King. They have been doing really bad bottom lane. I did not realize they did this bad. Like, in terms of experience, they have jack shit in terms of experience. That's just bad, yeah. Because our skeleton, our skeleton King was under level for the entire game. So there's another time he got battle hungered. Then I power shot at him. And he got killed by the battle hunger power shot. So that's the second death by their life stealer. So we're doing pretty well up here. I pick up my ring of protection. But you cannot buy a ring of protection from the side shop. You have to buy it from the base. So um, I believe I pick it up on the courier. And I have it bring to me. Or I might not yet. I think I'm waiting. No, I, there I, I bring it. So, yeah. See, like, the problem is, is, like, they're playing so scared. They're playing, they're playing too scared. And when you, when they're that far away, you don't get experience unless you're, like, within... You basically have to see them on your screen, I would guess is probably the radius. If you don't see things on your screen, you're not going to get, um, experience. It's, like, it's fine. If you're going to play passive, I mean, you can play passive if you don't feel comfortable, like, being close. But when you're this far away, you're not going to be getting really experience. And that's a huge problem in the early laning phases. Because now, Lion's all of a sudden going to be, like, level 6. Right? And then he's going to have his ultimate. And that's going to be ridiculous. And that's going to be really annoying. In the meantime, Axe and I and my buddy in the middle have been doing fine. We've been getting pretty decent gold. Really, the beginning phases are, you know, getting kills when you can, like we've been doing top. We've basically kept the kills even, which is important. Because, um, I mean, we've been killing their... Ca Lifesteal is a carry, and so we've been killing their carry. Like, and so, we killed them a couple times already, so basically the only thing he's going to be able to do is they have to have... um Clinks is going to probably have to carry in their game. He has a lot of gold and he hasn't picked up anything. I think that's stupid. Um, I guess it's because they don't have a courier. Uh, I did not realize they never... I don't think they... Do they ever have a courier? Because it's like, if you don't have a courier, it's really bad. Like, our Earth Shaker didn't buy a carrier right, courier right away, and I had to tell him to buy one. But he's, he, he basically told me he was a noob, and it's like, okay, you know, that's cool. It's like, seriously, just if you're, like, new at the game, just, like, tell people and ask what you should do. Because then they can tell you what's, like, good and... And it'll help you learn, and it'll just it'll just make everything better. Because then people won't yell at you, being like, "Oh, you noob, you suck so much." And it's like you probably do suck a lot if you just started playing. And it's like you really can't you can't really blame somebody for like not being like ridiculously good in their first game. Like my friend in middle, he actually does really well this game, and it's just like his first game I play with him, he basically sucked dick. <laughs> but it's like that's because you're f it's because it's your I first game. I mean, and he he's played a lot of lol actually, and so it's not too different. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but Windrunner's Shackle Shot. I should explain how it works because it's kind of a unique ability. It's a stun, but basically you target somebody and it latches them to something behind them. It can latch them to trees and it can latch them to other enemy units or neutral creeps. So um, 
Here we're trying to chase him. I wish Axe could have gotten off a of battle hunger. He might have been able to hit him. If you would have hit him with the battle hunger, that um, Zeus would have died. So yeah. I guess just another thing there is when you're laning with somebody, try and help them get last hits too. If if like you can't get it, because basically what happened there was that our catapult was going to hit their catapult and it would it would have destroyed it with nobody getting the last hit. So I saw Axe was swinging. I shot an arrow which brought to low enough health for Axe's swing to kill it. So we got an extra 70 gold out of him. So it's just like you got to be very, you got to be nice to people. Help your team get money. So here are Skeleton Kings actually finally getting experience because their team's way back here for some reason. It's another huge mistake. Um, Lion and Lich had a huge experience and probably gold advantage, and now they're basically losing it for no reason. And now he takes a ton of creep damage for no real reason other than just to drain a little bit of mana. And then he teleports back anyways. Oh no, he teleports top. So he's probably going to do that. Yeah, I'm just like, whatever. So he gets battle hungered. Uh, I probably should have power shot him. I don't know why I didn't. I think I thought we were going to get ganked by other people. Um, I should, If I would have power shot him, he probably would have died. Because he has, ooh, 47 health. Yeah, he would have died. Um... I don't know why I didn't power shot him. That was kind of bad play by me. Because, like, if you can power shot somebody on low health, do it. Because that could set up a kill for somebody else to get. Or you could just, um, you know, like, hurt them. I mean, there's just hurting people. You can force them out of lane and stuff. Skeleton King's over here doing... I don't even know what he's doing. Being a noob. X gets killed by Zeus. He did like a lightning bolt and then ulted him, which is a lot of damage, and he died. That brings me down to pretty low health, too. I'm at like half health, so I'm a little worried. Although I, b I believe I picked up my phase boots, yes. Phase boots are really good at Windrunner because they let you run fast, and they also just give her a lot of damage. I'm already hitting for 99 damage, which is a lot. <laughs> if you look at like uh, Zeus, 61, 71... Klinks is at 77, but he has this ability that gives him an extra 30, so he's only hitting for 8 more than me. And that's with one of his abilities. So. I don't know. Uh, they got another kill somewhere. Who died? I think that was my buddy in middle. No. Oh, that was right. It was Axe. Axe got nuked down. But, uh... Yeah. I guess one thing I should talk about is when runner, you generally don't want to get her ult at level 7. Because all it does is it basically speeds your attack speed, which is nice and all, but her other abilities are so good. Like, level 4 power shot, 360 damage in a line. It's like, holy shit. So my friend gets ganked in the beginning, in the middle, and I'm like, oh shit, um, I should probably go middle. But, um, I'm basically being a greedy little bastard, and I'm killing these things first. Uh, so I, I, I basically wait around here, and I kill these things. And then, I'm like, okay, I should probably go to middle. Um, I probably should have bought a teleport, teleport scroll, but I was like, I don't really want them, I don't really want to waste money on teleport scroll when I could run there, and I could maybe also get a room, because I know there's four of them right here. So we popped a glyph of fortification that makes it immune to damage, and I, in the meantime, I'm running over here. And here's the beauty of power shot, just like, what's up? Get the hell out. <laughs> it's basically just like, get the hell out. My friend ults, I managed to shackle Zeus. Right now, I don't really want to go in, because I'm by, by myself. There's another power shot. Power shot's so good. See Nature's Prophet teleporting in. He forests him. And he probably shouldn't have summoned the treants, because he could have gotten away with that. But, um, yeah. So I take an arrow, and I'm just like, whatever. I saw Zeus went this way. I thought he would climb up here. He actually went all the way over here, which is unfortunate. Um, another battle hunger on the clinks, which is great. Right now, I'm just like, hmm. I see the clinks there. Go for the power shot. And he's going to die from this. Because he ate a power shot in the face with Battle Hunger. So, like I said, Axe and Windrunner are a pretty good combo for that reason. I mean, they think they're safe because they're the Battle Hunger. They're like, I can live the Battle Hunger. And it's like, not anymore. <laughs> you can't. So I'm going top. I'm taking the long way around because I don't want to like get ganked by somebody. Because I don't really know where... I guess I kind of do know. I mean, I hate it when there's, like, even when somebody's dead, sometimes they'll forget that. And then they'll forget we can actually, like, kill somebody. So, um, I, w I wish he had, uh, I wish he had one point in Berserker's Call, at least. Because if he put one point in Berserker's Call, he could have made Zeus attack him for 1.5 seconds. I could have ran up there. And then I could have power shot at him. 
and he probably would have died. Um, so I'm kind of low on health. Um, that's fine. I'm getting two Null Talismans. Make time my Mantles of Intelligence and Null Talismans. They'll give me more all-around stats, plus three to all stats for each. That's plus six to all stats. Gonna give me a lot of health and um, attack speed, armor, that type of thing. And then I'll also get a healing cell with that, because I'm low on health. And um, I also get plus 12, no, plus 6 damage. Just straight plus 6 with the Null Talismans. So we're all top, and I'm just like, let's push top tower. We should take a tower. It's 12 minutes in, no towers have gone down. Kind of silly. In the meantime, though, before we do that, I grab my salve, because I don't want to have low health. And I'm like, yes, salving it up. So now I'm pr sitting pretty good. Um, I don't know why that icon refreshed down there. That was kind of weird. Must be a glitch or something. But literally, if Earthshaker stunned and Skeleton King was paying attention, he could have walked in and killed him. And then he freaking blew his ultimate, I guess. And he's dead. Because Skeleton King is sitting in shop doing I don't know what. Yeah, they're just kind of, they're just kind of newbie. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, there's no reason they shouldn't have been able to kill Lich. Um, so there's Life Stealer down there. I've just been sitting top farming this entire game, basically. Um, farming is really good. You can see I have by far the most amount of gold in this game. Um, it's only like 48 more than my friend, who has the second highest, but it's like 48 gold over basically 14 minutes is like. That's basically I have an extra Null Talisman, which makes. It does make a difference. It makes quite a big difference. Um, and it's like, as time goes on, if I can keep that up, eventually, like, at 30 minutes, I'll instead be sitting in, like, an extra thousand gold. So I power shot Zeus, and then I shoot him once. He has really low armor, so he takes a lot of damage just from my basic attacks. So I can harass him really easily. He can hit me with his abilities, but I have enough health for my Null Talismans and shit that it's not really going to be that big a deal. I hit him with another power shot. Um, so he's hurt pretty much. I see we're fighting in middle. Axe should have waited for that Culling Blade, though, to be honest. Um, he does get another kill on this Clinks, though, which is very good. So we're b all my teammates are basically middle. The only bad thing is Axe is kind of fucking surrounded here. I was thinking about coming them, but I'd have to run past the tower to do that, and with, Zeus, with, Zeus, ah, with Zeus there, I don't really want to do that. So I basically just tell my teammates to run away, because there's only two of them. I mean, Skeleton King does have illusions, but there's only two of them, and there's we know there's three of them. I should turn on our Fog of War now that I think about it. But I mean, because, yeah, we can see them, so we know there's three of them. And they're not they're not fooling us any. And so I'm just taking my time. Once again, just going to harass Zeus. He's, he's taking way too many hits, so he took four, five hits. And once again, just focusing him down. All of a sudden, he lost like 400 health from that. And it's like, that was really dumb on his part. Because it's going to make it so easy for me to like, all of a sudden, he's going to have to run away. And now I am safe in my lane, and I can just continue to free farm. Um, what did I grab there? Oh, I'm at a magic wand. Which gives me more stats. So I must have 1,000 health. Uh, once again, my friend gets ganked by Clinks. Which is unfortunate. Um, hopefully, Earthshaker runs away. missed with his fissure. Once again, I'm coming middle. Because, to be honest, I'm other than my Nature's Prophet buddy, um, I'm probably the best at pushing because of Power Shot. Power Shot is amazing at pushing. So I do that. Once again, toss another Power Shot. So he's going to take a ton of damage. So then our Axe took a lot of damage too. So I do another Power Shot. Um... They're in here, and they're basically taking way too much damage. So our, the Clinks goes after our axe. But he gets killed. Um, unfortunately, our Earthshaker also gets killed, which sucks. So that really wasn't the best engagement. Two for two. We did kill their Clinks, who is their carry, though, so I consider that worth it. Um, I'm basically like, I'm out of mana. I can't really do anything anymore. I'm actually going to run back to base and get more mana, because... If I don't have mana as Wind Wind Runner, I mean I have pretty decent damage, but it's like Wind Runner's abilities are so good. If you're not using her abilities, you're missing a lot of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. So in the meantime, not a lot interesting going on. We still haven't t nobody's taken any towers yet, which is quite surprising. Um, 
Oh, the lion's got an invisibility rune, eh? He actually has a bottle. He doesn't really have that much else, though, as you can see. I mean, let's just look at his gold. For In terms of gold, he has 192, which isn't bad. Um, our Earth Shaker's doing terrible, so is their Zeus. That's just like... Yeah. Goal advantage is swinging pretty heavily in our favor. About 1,500 at this point, so... You, act, you can say that's not a lot, but that's like an extra 100 gold a minute almost. Oh. Which does add up over time. Little advantages like that lets us, you know, do that type of shit. Um, so, Axe gets killed, but then Zeus gets killed. Skeleton King goes down, but his ult, if he didn't know, he, can, he comes back to life. Um, So here I'm power shutting. He's actually intelligent enough to dodge the power shot, which surprises me. Because most people like don't even notice the power shot animation. I swear. I guess I, I'm assuming he dodged it purposefully. I don't think so. So in the meantime, we're just all sitting middle, which is kind of dumb. I mean, I realized that later, but it's just like we are losing solo experience in farm. I mean, this is one reason their clinks does bad. Is um. He is just, he's like constantly in viz and just like scouting everything out without farming. It's like if you're not farming as a carry, you're going to be doing so bad. I mean, that's like what our Skeleton King does. I keep trying to farm a little bit, but um, basically I'm just trying to spam my power shots a little bit. Because I mean, I have, a, I have quite a bit of mana. It's like, spamming a power shot is not, when I have this much mana, it's not like game breaking. Because I still have enough ability, I can still cast all my abilities once. Basically, you want to still have enough mana to cast all of your abilities at least once in a team fight. From, that goes for like almost every character, every hero. If you don't have enough mana to cast your abilities, it's generally not very good. So I saw, I noticed they were going this way. I thought that was the real clinks because the other two went this way. So I actually do uh, do shackle shot on him, but it's not the real one. Another thing about power shot is you can use it to scout out because that gave vision of that entire area, which is good. So he's attacking Skeleton King once again. Another power shot. I hit a line with that one. So you can see it just whittles them down. And eventually he's he has to pop a bottle charge. And it's just like... What's up? So I, the bottom tower got attacked, and that makes me realize, huh, I'm low on health and mana. I should go back to base. I'll teleport to bottom, and I'll push bottom. And I, I am, my friend's actually going to go stop the top push. So we're just going to let our team basically defend middle. To be honest, Skeleton King probably should have gone bottom to farm or something. But he's kind of a noob, and so I'm not gonna. I didn't even want to pretend that he was gonna play a carry role. So they're actually kicking the shit out of Life Stealer right there. You get he just got smacked. Day, you get nothing. Good day, sir. So I'm bottom, just you know farming it up. Make sure you get those last hits. Got to get all the last hits you can. You shouldn't miss any. Especially when you're just sitting here by yourself and there's no enemies. Haste. Then I push the tower. So we're pushing it. We're pushing it. And basically, uh, that draws the attention of a couple people. So they're no longer at middle, but then they come after me, um, which is unfortunate. So, um, I don't know if you guys know what Windwalk, it basically makes you dodge all physical attacks. Um, unfortunately, their line had a haste rune, otherwise I would have totally lived. So, that was pretty lucky of them to have that haste rune. Because he, he wouldn't have gotten that stun off on me if he didn't have the haste rune. But in the meantime, we kill Zeus, and, you know, one for one trade, uh, not that big of a deal. Um... And they, they took their time coming from middle to bottom, basically. And their Clinks is running around not doing anything useful. I mean, he has Treads and he has a Ring of Aquila and he gets Slippers of Agility, but it's like he doesn't have a lot. I mean, it's like, he probably could have won the game for them had he actually farmed reliably. That's like, that's a lot of things people don't, like a lot of newer players don't get. And I think a lot of people in this game are new players, is that you need to, you need to farm money. <laughs> I mean, that's what I've been like trying to do. So I teleport bottom again, because I'm like, they're pushing our tower. I don't want to have that. 
I missed that last hit just by a tiny little bit. Ah, that was disappointing. So he used Rage, which makes him magic immune and makes him attack faster. So I back up then because he might. I think like he might be trying to kill me or something. But he just. I swear to God, he just pops stuff for randomly. So now my friend is down here. Uh, we're just doing stuff. Let's look at the levels. The Clinks actually has a lot of experience. Well. Wow. So once again, I'm bottom. I see I have Skeleton King in the forest, so I'm feeling a little safer. He finds Life Stealer. Um, Clinks should have jumped on him right now. If Clinks had jumped on him, they might have killed him. Clinks runs away like a pansy, though. I shackle shot Life Stealer this tree. Easy kill. It's like I don't know what this Clinks is. He has like bad decision making skills. <laughs> but um, Lion's back down here, being Lion and you know, being annoying. Power shotting is also good for getting last hits. Um, this time I wait actually for the stun before I win rock. Unfortunately, Lion ults me, which does a lot. 650 damage. It's a lot of damage. Um, once again, if he didn't have his ult, I would have lived. Um, that just goes to show. That just goes to. That just goes. To, it's like I'm so glad he killed that creep. They could deny this tower, but they don't because they're pretty much noobs. Um, that's one thing that's like annoying. It's like I guess that shows you how good. Winner is early game though, is if Lion had done that before he was level 6, I would have gotten away. Just because Windrunner is so good at escaping with Windrun. Because a lot of your early early game damage is just auto attacks. You can't, like, just nuke people down like that with abilities at level 1. Unless you have, like, your entire team ganking. So this time, I'm thinking, that tower is so low, they didn't deny it for whatever reason. I'm assuming they just didn't, don't know how. I'm like, I'm going to teleport bottom again. And I'm going to smack that once, and I'm going to get 500 gold, and that's going to make my two deaths completely worth it. Trading two deaths for a tower, I think, is worth it. Um, it's it kind of I guess it kind of depends who's who's doing the dying, and what the other conditions of the game are. But it's really not that big a deal that I died twice. I'd much rather get um get the tower. I in this point of the game. We've only taken one tower. We can take another one. That's going to give us an extra thousand gold, which is going to exacerbate our advantage. So look at our advantage. Um, even though I died, I died here and here. But if you look at that, look how fast their gold drops off. It's because they spent that time coming all the way to bottom without TP scrolls to gank me. And now I just killed a tower and a catapult. So that just gave me like an extra 600 gold. So right now, I'm kind of just backing off a little bit so I don't get ganked or something. I have my force staff complete. Zeus ults. I don't exactly know why. I guess he did kill Skeleton King, but Skeleton King popped his ult, so he is fine. They actually have an Observer Ward. I'm really surprised. I, t I, didn't, I told our Earthshaker he should get Observer Wards, but he never really did. And it's like, he's kind of noobish, so I can't blame him. But... So right now, their Clinks is actually hitting somewhat hard, but the funny thing is, I'm actually hitting for more damage. Um, base damage, I think. 133. No, he's hitting for... 8 more. He also has more attack speed, and he has his orb that gives him extra damage. So he's hitting pretty hard. But it's like... The beautiful thing about Windrunner versus stuff like that is... I have Windrun, so it's like, he's attacking me, I can pop that. 5 seconds, I'm completely immune to him, because all Clinks has is auto-attacking. So Windrunner is actually a very good choice against Clinks. Because he just cannot... He can't really hurt me while I'm Windrunning. So here, their line disconnects, which is unfortunate. Um, you can see right there, he disconnected. Um, which is kind of unfortunate, because Lion was probably their best person, or very near their best person. And we just got a free kill. Um, I pick up this double damage. And I'm going to go top and gank Zeus. Because I'm like, we can gang Zeus, and then we can push top tower. So I'm like, okay, let's go kill Zeus. I, I believe I said that over the voice communications. He gets stunned. I shackle him anyways. Shackle lasts for quite a long time. Easy kill. Land Skeleton King a kill. Always good. So I'm like, let's push this tower. I have double damage for like another 15 seconds or something. That's going to let us push pretty easily. And in the meantime, their middle lane is pushed. Um, we're attacking the middle lane at the same time. So, quite good. So we're basically pushing two towers at once. So you can see double damage is a ton of damage. 
So Klinks is fighting down here. I hit him with a power shot because he doesn't have that much health really. Hitting with a power shot is pretty big deal. So it's kind of a dig of us to push like that when Lion's gone because he disconnected. Because they're basically down Lion and then Zeus was dead. So it's like 3v5 at that point and it's pretty easy for us to push a couple towers. Um, we I know Klinks is here because he he likes to win rock he likes to wind walk um right next to us. That was really bad by our team. Uh, we stood together. I actually forced staffed our out. We were standing way too close. So he's a shackle shy, shackle him to a creep. And we get a kill. Woohoo! Earthshaker almost dies. I should have forced staffed Earthshaker actually. But um I don't know why I didn't. Because I could have forced staffed him away. But in the meantime, I make a really stupid mistake here. I like accidentally double back because I clicked like here instead of right here. But I catch up with force staff, smack him with one of those to one of those trees, and an easy power shot kill. Apparently I don't I don't think I pick up this invisibility either. I don't remember why. I think I was like gonna save it for I think somebody had a bottle on our team. Did they have a bottle on our team? Where are the items? This combat log. Where is items? there. Nobody had a bottle on our team. I don't know why I was saving it then. My friend has a hand of, Mi hand of Midas, so he's, so he's going to start getting a lot more gold. Hand of Midas, you can use it on a creep, and you get like an extra 190 gold, but you can only use it like once a minute or so. So we have a 10k gold advantage. Um, pretty huge deal. Um, it's a pretty big deal. On the bright side, I think their lion's back. He has jack shit for items, though. What happened to his items? Oh, they dropped them so they could try and like sell them or something. I think um, when somebody disconnects and like when when somebody abandons, um, basically their gold goes to the rest of the team, so the other team could hopefully still like win. So I believe their lion actually doesn't come back. He comes back eventually, but it takes him long enough to where he counts as, counts as an abandonment, and he um, the game becomes safe to leave as a result. So this isn't really like a super duper legit game, but. I'm pretty sure we were winning before Lion disconnected. Um, and that just is exacerbating the fact. So Earthshaker died. He disconnected as well. He comes back pretty quick, though. But Klinks kills him while he's disconnected. So we're even on that. Um, we each killed somebody. I'm just farming the jungle right now. Just to get a little more money. And then I'm going to go top, I believe. I'm, I'm trying to get Skeleton King to stun this guy. I, I like tell him that I'm like, dude, stun Zeus, cause then I, if he stuns Zeus, I can swing around to the side and then shackle him to one of these trees. Um, so that'd be a pretty easy kill. But our skeleton king is just a little bit too pansy. I don't really know why. I guess Zeus does have two levels on him. That's cause he's horribly underleveled from the beginning. It's like he is he ha he has shit for items. He should he should have had this like at ooh 16 minutes. I would say it's a you know that's a pretty not like amazing time, but it's you know reasonable. So Skeleton King could have thrown his ability there. I'm pretty sure. In the meantime, I'm just smacking him. He still has not very good armor. So now Skeleton King finally stuns him when I'm like backing up, and I'm just like whatever. Let's just leave. I'm gonna go. I forget where I go. Um, I have my Mystic Staff already actually, so I have a ton of intellect. I'm hitting for a lot, lot of damage. So I know Klinks is here, I believe, because he has a tendency to like to wind walk, w use his wind walk ability, skeleton walk, when he's right next to us. And if you use it while you're invisible, you actually do pop up for a split second. So I saw that he popped up right there just for like an instant. So I know he's here. Um, so I'm trying to stick by Skeleton King because I can take Klinks for sure with wind walk. He can't kill me, but Skeleton King he could maybe kill, even though Skeleton King does have his ult. There is, Lion didn't come back for five minutes, so that sucks. We actually end up just leaving, which was smart, because now their entire team is there. Um, so that was a good thing that we left. However, I'm feeling ballsy, and I'm going to stand right here, because I'm insane. I should just leave. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm just kind of wandering around, and I eventually go middle, because I see we're pushing middle. There comes a Frost. Chain Frost. Chain Frost is pretty ridiculous. Once again, my team doesn't split up, so they lose a ton of health. Chain Frost does a ton of damage if you manage to get hit by all other things. Um, you want to split up, and I guess Force Staff is really good in this situation. It gets me away from, like, basically everybody. It gets me away from Lifesteal. It gets me away from the uh, Chain Frost. 
Gets me away from Lion. Pretty easy. I actually force Staff Axe away because he's pretty low on health. And I'm like, why the hell not? It's only like a 20 second cooldown. We're not in any super duper danger. But I don't want like Clinks to come in like he is now and kill Axe. Just because Axe was a little bit further behind. Um, so here Clinks makes another dumb mistake. I saw him do that, of course. So I am telling my friend right now. I'm like, dude, dude, dude. Clinks is right next to me. Get over here. Skill thinking will be fine. <laughs> he has his ult. And he's by a tower. So I'm like, la di da di da. So I'm like, I know Clinks is following us. Because I'm pretty sure he's... I should have probably gotten wards or something. so Like sentry wards so I can see invisible units. Because I knew... I've known he was behind us like the entire game. So there he is again. So I'm like, he's going to go on my friend. So I'm basically waiting here for him to go. My friend like goes AFK there at that moment. So he's getting attacked. I do a shackle shot. But that, of course, does nothing. Tree. Pop wind walk. He can't do anything against me. Because I'm wind walking. Easy kill. Not a problem at all. Um, so that was pretty... The, the problem with that Clinks was he was being obvious. He was being really obvious. And we just outplayed him. We knew our limits. I knew I had wind walk. And once I wind walk, he could not do anything to me. He had nothing to stop me. He is trying to get his um, orchid. But he is not there yet. He needs quite a bit more money to get his orchid. He actually disconnects. I believe that is a rage disconnect. And I believe he just doesn't come back. Which is unfortunate. So, I mean, this game has been really slow in terms of towers. We probably should have pushed more. We have a Nature's Prophet. We have a Wind Runner. They have, like, n very little pushing. We could have easily, like, won by now. <laughs> I was just playing, like, really conservative because, I don't know. I don't really trust Earthshaker and Skeleton King to be the best. Um, and my friend, I don't think he's quite gotten the uh, understanding necessarily that uh, Nature's Prophet is, like, he's, like, one of the best pushers in the game. So good, because he has teleport. He can teleport anywhere on the map um, with a 20 second cooldown. So it's just absurd. You can just like go anywhere you feel like whenever you want. Because right now he's jungling. He's just sitting there getting money, which is good, because he's getting a ton of money. I believe he picks up a Mystic Staff, maybe? Yep. So he has really good stats, actually. I think he has more money than me by this point. Yeah, he does have slightly more. Extra 10 gold a minute. You can see our advantage. It actually bottomed out there for a while. But we will fix that. I pop... Now I have my ult. And one good, re one really good thing about our ult is if you use it on towers... Um, it does work on towers. So you can take down towers really fast with our ultimate. It's one thing I think people should do. Um, now somebody's teleporting in. Ridiculously easy kill. Um, I shackle him to the tree. I moved in position to shackle him to the tree. He should have raged immediately when he teleported in. Well, first of all, I don't think he should have teleported in at all. Um, it was three of us there. He didn't really have any backup. But, uh... He should have raged right away, because that makes him magic immune. He could have... I wouldn't have been able to shackle him and stuff. So that was kind of dumb on his part. He, I'm kind of actually chasing Lich. I do manage to snag him with that. That's a bit of damage. Right now I have a very large mana pool. I'm actually regening quite a bit of mana, so... I actually pop my magic wand, because... I'm going to sell it soon, I believe. So we kill, um, what's his face? Lich. Good shot, right? Another power shot gets me two last hits. So again, harass Lion a little bit. I do a lot of damage to him. I pop my Wind Run and my ult. The tower, I'm basically tanking the tower because it can't damage me. And I'm doing a lot of damage with Focus Fire. Just watch this. It just does so much damage. Just silly. So my friend's pushing top in the meantime. He can pretty much safely push top even though he's low on health because we are keeping them preoccupied. So he really doesn't have a whole lot to worry about. I do a shackle shot because even if you use shackle shot and it doesn't, it doesn't get him to the tree, it still has a 0.75 second duration stun. Which is pretty good. A uh, lion should have ulted me there. If he would have ulted me there, I probably would have died because his ult... He still has level 2 ult. If he had level 3 ult, I would have died. Level 2, I could have survived, I'm pretty sure. So... Oh well. So we're going to take a Rax... Bam, Skeleton King gets an extra 365 gold. Hell yeah. In the meantime, I'm just kind of wandering around, getting a little bit of money. To be honest, we should have just pushed and ended. We don't have very good pushing items. I kind of went for carry Windrunner this game. Because a lot of times Windrunners like to get a mechanism. Which, like, I got it on my Venomancer if you haven't seen that video. But it basically um gives you, gives you stuff gives you, you can pop it and you gain health and it also gives you armor and passive health regen and stuff.
Now, Skonte King's running away, but he's fine. He has his alt. God, his alt, his level 3 alt is so good. It's because it goes from 260 second cooldown to 160 to 60. It's ridiculous. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know it also slowed people when he resurrects. That's interesting. Pretty good. So where am I at right now? I'm just running up middle, I guess. I have my sheep stick done. Side of the vice. Um, gives me a pretty good stats, lots of intelligence, mana regeneration, and I can also use it on an enemy, and it basically, um... Basically, uh, uh, it sheeps them, so they can't really do anything for five seconds. So it's going to be really good against, like, life stealer Clinks. If Clinks was still in game, it would be amazing against him. That would basically shut him down. I basically use my wind run. Um, here, I probably should have force staffed my friend immediately, but I wait a really long time for some reason. <laughs> but then I force staff him. I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make it dramatic, you know. Don't want to force staff him too early. Um, so he went into a creep. I basically guessed which one it was. I figured it was that one because it was that one was kind of the other two were kind of in a line, whereas that one was kind of off the line. And so I figured he'd just take the that one. My friend alts pretty good. Um, shackle shot. They don't even have to be that close to a tree. You can shackle shot them from quite a ways away. So once again, just more shooting. I get a mega kill. I don't get a god like this game. I actually don't get very many kills. I get tons of assists though. Let's get my assists already. Um, 16 assists. Just ridiculous. Um, I almost have... I. It's like... <laughs> there's 9 kills I haven't been a part of really. My friend has tons of kill of creep kills. My goodness, he has he must have so much money. He has making quite a bit more money than I am. Extra fifteen hundred. I'm surprised he doesn't have more. Then again, he's he is still kind of new, so he's not like super mega awesome farm mode. I pop this on the tower, then I pop my wind run again so I can tank the tower. I actually back up after this one, I think. Because focus fire, as long as you don't attack something else, it's still active. So I can just go back up and immediately resume doing this. And unless it's Skeleton King tank it. I get another tower kill. I see that there's an ult. I force staff out, I believe. Yep. So I basically got that away from the rest of my team, so it didn't hit anybody else. And we get a kill on Lich. whoop de doop Pretty easy, though. I mean, they don't have clinks now. Um, I basically, I think I teleport out here. It's because I don't want to die. <laughs> I mean, dying sucks. I have so much money, though. I, f I think I sell my ring of Basilius and grab something. I get two obli- I'm going for an orchid, actually. Because if I get my orchid, I can silence people like Zeus and stuff. And it also amplifies damage, so they take more damage. So it's very good. I'm basically going for it, and it's also going to be a lot of damage and attack speed, so I'm basically going for carry Windrunner. I get lots of damage, lots of attack speed. Um, I get utility things, so I can hex I can hex people so they can't do anything. I can silence them so they don't have any abilities. I can force staff them into my team. I can force staff away from people. Right now, I'm just using my wind run to get around. It does make your movement speed really high. It gives you a 50% move speed bonus, so it's pretty freaking good. Um... <laughs> right there was really... Th I'm surprised he didn't die. Basically what I did was I have force staffed him because he was running this way. I wanted to force staff him away because he was low. He actually turned around at that exact moment and I force staffed him actually right here. It's kind of funny. Um, actually, we chase Zeus here. I figured he's, he... I'm like, no, he has to go through here. Boom. Because he is running here. He, he, can, he can't walk through this. He has to either walk around here or around here. And I figure he's just going to run around here. Because that seems safest to him. Because, I mean, we're pushing on this side. This side's the only one that's not really pushed a whole lot. So it seems, makes sense that he's going to go this way. So I line up my power shot, and it's just like, well, bam. Easy kill. Not a big deal. I just pop, I just do my regular arrows on this one. And then I pop my ult on this one, and it just drops like a rock. Look at that attack speed. Here's another kill, and right now we are just doing shit. And I, I actually decided to kill Clinks here, because he's AFK, and I just want to kill him. It's like, screw you for being AFK, you, j you dick. Screw you. So that's that's kind of the end. Um, my friend actually did end up get, getting quite a bit of money. He got about 2,000 more gold than me, which is pretty significant. One really good thing about Nature's Prophet, Windrunner, is what you saw there. If he uses Sprout, which summons trees around somebody and basically blocks them in, I can use Shackle Shot to shackle them to the trees. Um, so that's pretty good. So we win. Um, 
not terribly surprising. I mean, they had the line disconnect. They had the Lich come in late. Um, although our bottom lane was pretty bad. Um, it was just like a bad game. Yeah, it wasn't really like, in terms of... There's a lot of just annoying stuff that happened, like people disconnecting, and it's just like, ugh. That's kind of annoying when that happens, but... I think we would have won anyways. You can just look at the final stats. 8 to 17 basically did... In terms of, like, hero kills, I did by far the best. My friend got better farm, but it's like... Farm is good and all, but it's like... It's also important to, like, fight, and I like to do that. Basically, my only two deaths were because they freaking hardcore ganked me. And Lion's a really, really good ganker. Um, so, yeah. I mean, even our Earthshaker ended up getting almost, like, more money than most people on their team. Just because. That's kind of funny. He did, end, he did end up getting a blink blink dagger finally, but if their experience per minute is horrible. Oh my goodness. <sighs> but I guess that's that. Um So, like I said like I said in the last video, you can leave a suggestion if you want me to play a hero. I already have one to play Broodmother. If I when I do that one I'll probably try and um do an actual live commentary thing. It's just this one I was just playing with my friend and I don't really wanna I don't really, when I'm playing with my friends, I don't really want to, like, record necessarily what we're talking about, because it's kind of, I don't know, gets unrelevant to the game, I suppose, is the reason. But, yeah. So, I actually want to check something. Yeah. He's, he's pretty newbie. He has four recommendations. Um, he is, he is quite a newbie. He's only played eight games. He played a lot of, let's, I just want to look at their games, um. Dota profile, 10 wins, so he's pretty newbie. Dota profile, 5 wins, pretty newbie. Um, 6 wins, and it's probably one of his first games. No, 7 wins. He's only played Lifestealer and Batrider, though. He must really like Lifestealer. Okay, I, wanna, I just want to look at the other team. You can kind of tell. Oh, there's 7 games. 3 games. He's only played Earthshaker and Faceless Void. <laughs> I don't know why that picture just makes me laugh. Um, my friend has played very few games, actually. That was his third game. <laughs> you can see. Yeah. It's kind of funny, because with the Wish Doctor, he kind of sucked dick. But yeah. I mean, I guess that's that. Um, so, uh, you can leave suggestions of other heroes you'd like me to play. Hopefully, I can get a Broodmother one done soon. Although, I don't know. I'm really busy this week, so I may not. Because I have so much stuff to do. But I will try and get more videos out soon. This week is basically the only week. I'm also gone for spring break. I'm going to Hawaii. Woo, Hawaii. Anyways, enough of that. You guys probably don't care. I'm sure you came here to watch Dota. And this game has been going on for a re What? I kind of I want to watch this game because that's rather amazing. It's an, over an hour in and they've killed so few towers. This game's... Holy shit. How do the games last that long? That's ridiculous. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to quit for now. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you for the next one.